The Xiaomi 11T Pro and its 120 watts Xiaomi Hypercharge has been the talk of the town this past week. The 120 watt on paper or as advertised can charge the Xiaomi 11T Pro from 0 to 100% within 17 minutes. So that is what I'm going to test today. Let's go! What's up Xiaomi fans, Christian here, welcome back to All About Me. Xiaomi's been pushing its boundaries for its charging technology to provide a leading battery and charging experience for its users or the Mi fans out there. And a few to mention, we have the Mi 9 27 watts wired fast charging. They also have the Mi 10 Pro 50 watts wired fast charging. And just this year, there's the Mi 11 55 watts wired turbo charging and also the Mi 11 Ultra 67 watts wired turbo charging. And then we have the 120 watts Xiaomi Hypercharge of the Mi 11T Pro. Into the box, you'll have the 120 watts power brick. It's pretty huge comparing it to the phone. Look at the size of it. And also it does come with the cable. And uh, I've seen this cable, I compared it with the uh, Mi 11i that I have. It is the same cable, so nothing special on the cable itself but it does support 120 watts. So um, let's start with the charging test and uh, we'll see if it does fall inside the 17 minutes time frame that as advertised or if it goes beyond that, let's see if it's acceptable. And uh, by the way, I'm also gonna explain the technology behind the fast charging or the hyper charge that they have on this phone while we're doing the charging. So in between, I'll be doing a uh, uh, fast forward of the charging. Okay, so let's start with the charging test. All right, so we have the phone here now, which is pretty flat, uh, totally zero battery, as you can see. So let's start with the charging. And we have the timer on the side, uh, just for our reference. Not only this device is equipped with the 120 watts charger inside a box, but also this comes with a 5000 milliamp hour battery. So you can charge fast and as well as the battery will be lasting for this phone. How does the 120 watts Xiaomi Hypercharge work? It is a new charging structure and also it has the MTW battery technology, the Mi FC technology, there's also a liquid cool technology, graphene application on Li-Ion battery. This phone actually comes with a dual cell. There are two battery cells which is 2500 milliamp hour each cell and it is charging the 120 watts is actually doing a dual charge pump which makes the battery charging faster because it is doing a charge on both of 2500 milliamp hour each there's also a mtw technology on fast charging for better thermal control and also there's a mi fc technology the charging from 0 to 100 is actually constant unlike most of the phones out there that when it reaches close to 100 percent it slows down the charging. The Xiaomi 11T Pro's battery packs greater conductivity than traditional batteries. Probably my thick or even the forums before they release this model, 120 watts probably will emit a lot of heat or make, make the phone very, very hot while it's charging. But they advertise that there is a liquid cool technology that actually dissipates heat quite fast. So I'll be doing a test on a on the temperature after it has been charged. And also they've added on their safety, there are 34 protection features. There's also a real-time temperature monitoring system. It has been certified by Two Vrainland for a safe, fast charge system and also outstanding charging cycles, which they designed the battery to retain up to 80% of its original capacity at 800 complete cycle charges. And we are at 10 minutes and currently it's only 50%, so it's pretty tight. I'm not sure if it's gonna reach 100% by 17 minutes. So let's see how it should go, how it goes after this. All 
All right, so now we're at 12 minutes and it is 61%. Uh, looks like we're getting there. Fourteen minutes now and it is 73%. We are only left with three minutes. It seems it's still pretty far from the 100%. Uh, we still have about 30% left to full charge this battery. And now we are at 15 minutes and it's only 76%. So now we are at 16 minutes, 83%. So it seems it's still pretty tight. We're left with one minute, but let's see if something good will happen or maybe there's a miracle of what, what's gonna happen. Okay, so we are getting there. Okay, let's do a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two one let's check the battery percentage okay we are still at 88 percent and we already 17 minutes 18 minutes now we'll just keep going and we are still 92 percent so let's see how or how long it will take to full charge this battery but it seems that we are close to full moon we are pretty close to having a 100% on this uh, battery charge. Okay, 19 minutes, 96%. It seems that it's actually slowing down its charging. But uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold the phone now and uh, see, uh, keep checking uh, when it will hit that 100%. So we are now at 19 minutes, almost 20 minutes. Uh, it's like three minutes past the advertised 17 minutes. Uh, full charge uh, time for this phone but uh, let's see how long we are pretty close now at 99% so we are just past or just over 20 minutes okay so I think it's gonna before before this minute is over it's gonna full charge this phone I'm pretty sure about it uh, let's see okay so 20 minutes and 20 seconds all right, um, it should full charge by now. Okay, so yeah, there you go. So we are 100% at 20 minutes, 30 seconds, somewhere around there, because I still have to press the button. Uh, actually, it's like uh, three minutes and 30 seconds more than uh, what was expected, which was 17 minutes, but I think it's still pretty okay. Let's check the temperature now. Initially, the temperature is 23 degrees Celsius, but now it's 40 degrees Celsius, which is still pretty okay. I feel it's warm, but not like extremely hot. And uh, yeah, so it's somewhere, somewhere like 40 degrees, 40.5. And uh, it seems that the temperature is going down pretty fast. I think the uh, liquid cool system is actually working pretty well. So that one was just like like a minute or two, or less than two minutes actually. It's already going down. I mean, the temperature is already going down. It's cooling down. Oh, it's pretty good. Actually, I still find it acceptable. Even though I charge 20 minutes and 30 seconds, which is three minutes and 30 seconds more than advertised, but that is still quite fast for a phone with a big battery, which is the 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So even though in the morning you, you haven't charged your phone overnight, when you wake up, you just plug it, take a shower. When you come back, when you get up from the shower, it's ready full charge. So you won't worry for the whole day. And the battery would definitely last more than one day. Let me know what you think and leave a comment below. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and do a ton of Xiaomi unboxing and reviews and also feature cool gadgets. This has been Christian from All About Me and I'll see you on the next video.